Oh, wow. I wonder who- Oh, <gasps> I see a tibia. Oh my gosh, it's an ant. Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabu High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, welcome to another vlog. It's afternoon. Look at it outside, guys. The fog is crazy. Here, see? It's foggy out there. But I wanted to show you guys something. Ooh, look. You know what that is? This is our sweet potato leaves from our yard, from the forest. Edge. We grew this. Mmm. <gasps> Let's taste our homegrown sweet potato leaves. Here in the Philippines, it's called talbos. Yum. Oh man, this is packed with micros. All right. And because it was grown fresh, obviously organic, right from the forest. All right. This is a dream. Let's try. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh yeah. So good. Guys, such a dream to grow our own food. Love it. And also eating squid adobo. You see that? RJ cooked it. Mmm. Let's try. Mmm. Oh yeah. Guys, squid is the Pegasus of the Philippines. It's just so mythical, it's delicious. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, look at it outside. It is wonderfully foggy. Oh, I love when it's like this. Mm. Hydrating mist. I'm gonna swim later too. What's up, my boy squad? Good morning. Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, so it's a brand new day, early in the morning, and I've begun walking again. Why? Because, I don't know, I just wanted to start walking again. Also it helps me cut a few calories, doing a little bit of cutting. Um, and you know what? I've missed walking. There's so much going on in the outside world in the morning. Um, you know, we're in my area, so it's pretty stimulating and a great way to start the day. See, carenderias are open, serving breakfast, motorcyclists, jeepneys. See, that is a jeepney, very Filipino. There's a tricycle station, there's a 7 Eleven. Andok's famous chicken place here, roast chicken. They also have really great beef. Morning cyclists, lots of tricycles going around, trucks. It's really beautiful and lots of tropical plants everywhere. Some of these folks here have amazing gardens and amazing plants. Let's see, gorgeous trees. See, beautiful flowers. Um, there's a house here with orchids that are just gorgeous. Sorry, I'm like spying on people's botanical collections. See dragon fruit? This is dragon fruit up here. Beautiful. Ficus benjamina. Anyways, I shouldn't be vlogging people's homes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really amazing out here. See, they're gonna sell all of this awesome grass for animals that eat grass. Hi there, buddy. <laughs> You're so cute. Wow, look at all these fruits. Mm. This is where we buy our fruits. See? All the mango steam that we get from here. Mangoes. Guys, this durian smells so pungent, but so good. Mmm. Love, love, love. Fresh seafood and veggies. Look at that moringa. Delicious. Oh my gosh, tilapia. Pineapple. Saba bananas. All right. You got meats, chickens. Look at those legs, pork. So guys, this market is called the Palenque. In the Philippines, they call market Palenque. There's everything you need. See, just tons and tons of fresh produce. Look at that, crabs. It just goes on and on. I love that the Palenque is here. We can order all our stuff fresh. Look at that. 
Wow. Mmm. Mackerel, squid, mussels. Amazing. And it just goes on and on inside here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Rambutan. Yes. Grapes. Mm, guys, look. Mungo. This here is mung bean porridge, Filipino style. Um, it contains onions, ginger, shrimp, and uh, bitter melon leaves from our yard, from the vine. Awesome. And I've mixed it with some rice. And guys, look, RJ says that this rice is a yellow version of rice. <gasps> I've never had yellow rice, unless it was like Chinese style fried rice, but that's different yellow. This is like naturally yellow, yellow like butter. I just got back from the gym, yes. And that walk in the morning was so good. Man, health is wealth, right guys? All right, let's try this. Mmm, mm, it smells so good, reminds me of my childhood. My childhood eating mung, mung beans. Beans are on the blue zone diet, guys. Meaning diets of cities with the longest lived people in the world. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. So good. Mmm. 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 What's up Mabuhai Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, I'm here at SMX in the Saba tourism booth with my friends. Hi, Elsie. Hello. Hello. And I'd like you to meet our new friend. Hello. I'm Shelly. Shelly. Yes. 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 And guys, we're up for some fun. I have to go up on stage. There's RJ. We're just rebriefing. Um, and there's some of Buhai Squad here. Can't wait to meet you guys. Hi guys. All right. Hello. Awesome. Hello. Hi. All right. I'm so excited now. Hey. Buhai Squad, we have a friend here. What's your name? Jennifer. And Chris. Hey. Hi. I'm Donna from Borneo. Awesome. Because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yeah. With us. <laughs> These are guys, also. Part of the team, your yeah, names? I'm Melody from Amy Travelers and Utawa Tower Association. Hi, awesome. I'm Karen from Hohon Tours. I'm from Saba. Saba. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jason Valencia from MOT. All right. The team uh, from Saba, Borneo, is here to promote Saba. You guys have seen our vlogs in Saba. We've been there three times, and each time we have so much fun. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys. What's your names? Hi, what are I'm your names? I'm John, name? Steph, Kalex, Chloe, Christine. Awesome. We're from Paranaque. Paranaque. From Paranaque. Awesome, Paranaque. welcome. Cavite. Yeah. All right. Michael, Johnny, Adan, Domangue, oh my God. Castaño, Bustos. You know my full name? <laughs> my favorite? Animal. Animal. Um, I don't know, what is it? Oh. <laughs> Ants. Ants, of course. Oh my gosh, because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Hey, hey, thank you, hey, bye. Hey, All right, hi, hey, yes. Hey, oh my gosh. Okay, hello, hi there. Hi. Okay, where are we going? There's RJ directing me. Mabuhai Squad, I'd like you to meet fellow Mabuhai Squad. Hi. What are your names? I'm Minnie. I'm Miko. Awesome. And guys, they've been watching for a long time. They're yeah. bringing up vlogs I don't even remember. <laughs> and where did you just travel from? We just came from Hokkaido last year. Hokkaido, Japan. Japan. Yes, awesome, yes. congrats. And what's the weather like now? Uh, it's between, it's going into summer because they say it's only August, it's a full summer. Oh, so it's, so it's like hot, hot but not too hot. Yeah. Yes, yes. Awesome. And but it rains a lot. Amazing. It rains a lot. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah.
Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's all welcome Mikey Busos! Yeah! Good afternoon, Plastic Balloon. How's everybody doing? Mabuhay squad, we have a friend here. What's your name? Uh, Giods. This is Giods, yes. And because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures, yes. Yay, thank you. Guys, Mabuhay Squad Grace. And what's his name? George. Say that. Happy birthday. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. Nice to meet you. <laughs> wow. Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. So, guys, at yesterday's event, Grace gave us this from Mabuhay Squad. Yeah, from Mabuhay Squad. From fellow Mabuhay Squad. Look at how big it is. I think this thing is taller than me. Is that six feet? This is like a six foot painting. Wait, let's measure. Can you help? Yeah. Thanks. Oh my. Six feet. It's six feet. Yeah, yeah see? Wow. Holy. Six. Let's open it. Six by four, this painting. And apparently it's for my birthday. Thank you guys. Um, and it also came with a card. Let's see. Enjoy the painting as a token of our friendship and appreciation. The Unseen World, it's called. Oh, this is credits. Mikey, have a wonderful birthday. Stay awesome as always with love. Marissa and Michael Olikino. Oh, it's messages. Blair, Chelly from Italy. Aitin Correro. Edmark and Nika, Oh. Torin, Marita Montejas, Joy, Katie Conception, oh hi Katie, Claudine from Dubai, Chona, Ate Elsie even, wow, Susie and Lulu of New Orleans, oh my gosh, this was a cooperative effort, <gasps> thank you, let's open it, yeah, <laughs> look at the ribbon, it's so cute, I don't want to break it, <gasps> Careful, oh, actually, oh, this is, oh, wow. I wonder who, oh, I see a tibia. Oh my gosh, it's an ant. Oh, wow, it's a tur, wow. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. It's an ant eating, it looks like a, a nut. An apple. It's an apple? Right. Is that what they said? I think so, it's red. Well, I mean, a tiny apple? It looks like a piece of like walnut. Maybe, maybe an apple, that would be great. Then it has to do with both of us. And where on earth are we going to hang this? This is gorgeous, look at the colors. <gasps> wow, oh my goodness. It's beautiful and talk about anatomically correct. correct. Ant too, yeah, amazing. Oh, this is stunning, wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so big and I love the colors. Look at that green. I think the husband of Grace was the one who... Grace's husband did this? Jar? Oh, wow, I love it. Thank you so, so much. Oh, wow, guys, check it out. So we have some new house plants in this corner, just outside the ant room. And look at this succulent. It is flowering. But check out the flower. It looks like a rainbow. See all these flowers? Like it starts as a deep purple and then turns slowly red and then slowly orange and then yellow. Isn't that cool? That is, 
What an amazing plant. What's up my Buhai squad? So, I am swimming, <laughs> clearly. Um, I just finished a whole day of editing. Um, my ant video will be late. Gosh, what else is new? It'll be uploading tomorrow, it's a day late. I'm trying to work hard to get it done on time. But, wanted to end the day in the pool. It is so nice guys, look. It just started little tiny drizzling, like pitter patter rain. And it's so pretty and it feels so nice on the skin. Oh, I love swimming at night. But I have to get my towel because it's gonna get wet. I love just after a long day of working. See, there's my computer. I'm editing still. After a long day of working, jumping in the pool is just so refreshing, so energizing, and completely de-stressing. It's really wonderful. For those of you who are new, this is our pool bar. I like to keep my towel, well, mostly down there because ants travel through here. This is an ant highway sometimes. And then they end up in my towel. <laughs> and then some of them sting me. All right, and then I'm gonna do, I basically have been doing about 25 to 35 or so minutes of just swimming and even just walking like this and walking backwards like this is such good cardio. It burns so many calories um, and it's so much more gratifying than a treadmill and it's just so relaxing i love it see there's the forest it's so calming and peaceful there's a mist that's floating everywhere oh i see a bird a nocturnal bird and i don't know i really like the feeling of rain on my skin oh it's raining a lot now hi there melody oh no it's raining a lot you're gonna get wet. This is Melody, our farm cat. Okay, I gotta put my phone away. Um, as I was saying, I love swimming in the rain and the rain touching the skin. Like when I lived in Canada and I was mostly an indoor city boy, <laughs> I generally hated rain and did not like to be rained on. But since moving out here, for some reason, I've just associated rain with like you know, our plants thriving and higher yield of fruits and veggies. It became a positive thing. Greener grass, more lush trees. And I've just learned to love having the rain on my skin. Any of you guys, I can't, like I can't imagine now after living here, uh, living without rain touching my skin. It's somehow really, um, I don't know, relaxing, healing good for the mind. I'm not quite sure what it is that feels so great to be rained on, but it's just kind of like bathing in nature, I guess. Feels really nice. Out here, I like to say my prayers, meditate, um, do positive affirmations, dream and visualize, speak to God in the sky, speak to the universe it's so so great and guys i'm looking at the house now and i'm feeling a lot of gratitude sometimes i, I wonder like how did this all happen because um i <laughs> lived most of my life pretty like poor in toronto canada um i mean i lived with my parents so they paid for everything for a lot of my life but as an adult, I was very, I was pretty much poor. And like seeing the house now and seeing everything, it just blows my mind. It's like a dream I don't want to wake up from, guys. Good morning, Mabuhai squad. I'm here with the doggies. Can wait. <laughs> this is Brittany. This is Rizalzi's. Okay, okay, okay. They've been watching me editing all morning. Okay, okay guys. Seriously. Yeah, up early. Editing. We'll be editing all day. I enjoy it, but... 
a lot of work. Uh, Rizal here is a standard poodle, uh, but for some reason in the Philippines they call them giant poodles. Yes! And this is Brittany, our Mexican hairless. And as you can see, they just want to smother and be part. Okay, seriously, Rizal, your fur is so soft like a pillow, I'm going to fall asleep here. <laughs> yes, his fur is growing back. We shave it about maybe once a year. Um, poodle hair, guys, is so hard to maintain. Look at the size of this huge gigantum. Is that what it's called? It's massive. See, and it's getting bigger. We've had this now for over a year. Um, we need to add fertilizer because look, some of the plants look like they need some help. Um, but it's so cool, this thing, it actually leans outside the pot and then it grows these cool air roots. Guys, listen to the birds. They make such cool noises. Wait, it stopped now that it saw that I was looking at it. I hear tons of birds in the mornings and it's so... Hear that? It's so calming. Just various birds. Okay, that squawk, those squawks are from the parrots, but... All sorts of birds are up here in the mornings and they... There, see? They sing and it's so calming. So here is my workstation. I got my coffee mug and French press almost completely exhausted of coffee. Um, just rendering my videos. I render in sections. Render basically means like finalizing a video and like making, making it an official video after all the edits. This is my computer. Look at all the hard drives, guys. I really need to start uploading all our raw files to a cloud because this is getting insane. This is 14 TB. Look, look at all that. Those, that's years of 4K raw files <laughs> about ants. All right, so editing now. This editing process, like not including uh, writing the script, recording it, and all the filming, this editing process takes minimum two days. Um, and literally working the moment I wake up to the moment I sleep. It's a long process, guys. Every week, I essentially create a mini film. <laughs> and I've been doing this for years. It's hard. <laughs> um, but I guess it's kind of in my blood now. I would love to have a team. I used to have a team. Um, a team as in like one editor and at one point we had two editors but um, They ended up resigning It's this is not easy and also I do Enjoy the process of editing the stressful part is just meeting the deadline <laughs> The upload deadline and I mean I'm pretty late frequently, but I do love video editing I'm thinking of possibly decreasing my upload schedule for Ants Canada, which is so sad because like literal families wait for these uploads and it means a lot to a lot of people. So I'll see, but you know, it has to be sustainable. I don't know how much longer I could do this because I just started this. For those of you who are new, um, I have an ant channel called Ants Canada. It's my biggest channel about ants and nature. And I started this new series called the Vivarium series, uh, where it's just massive tanks and I document, you know, how ecosystems work. So each tank has tons and tons of creatures in it and they eat each other, they die, they live and breed in the tank. And that gave the channel this crazy explosion of like, views and subscribers, um, and it's the hottest thing that the Ants Canada channel has ever done. So I'm trying to do my best now to max out, like pedal to the metal, full work, because now that, you know, the channel has eyeballs, um, I would love, I'm just trying to go full steam ahead um, because each video will be online forever and it will, it will continue to um, you know, acquire views and 
it will continue to you know help the channel grow uh, it's on forever and it will continue to also educate people about animals about nature it's a cool unique opportunity as a, a science educator channel um, and you know a lot of people in the comments are like I would never have guessed I would have been obsessed with a channel about insects and bugs some people are like I hate bugs but they love the channel so you know it's a good opportunity to get people to love nature um, so yeah and I don't know how much longer I could do this full steam ahead business um, I might have to decrease upload schedule but who knows, maybe one day I'll be able to assemble a team again um, that can help me. We'll see. But otherwise, right now, I love editing. I do. It's really fun. Let's see. The most hideous creature was squirming in the moss. It was an earthworm moving to a new area to burrow. Ew. I'm so grossed out by worms. Good morning, Ate June. This is Ate June. She's back from Singapore. After She's our landscaper. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Thank you. And look, they tore out a one of the palm trees that had died, sadly, after a year. And they're planting a new one. Look at how big this new one is. It's huge. Wow, it's going to be bigger than these three. You know, last night as I was swimming, I was talking to these palm trees. <laughs> yes, guys, talk to your plants. They are sentient. Um, but yeah, I was talking to these palm trees, telling them how grateful I was for them because it's always been my dream to have palm trees. These specifically, this is called, I think, foxtail palm. And hi there, welcome to the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse new palm tree we have two more way down there and I just find they look so tropical like they just remind me of vacation as a Canadian it's like these palm trees just are reminiscent of the tropics so let's get a better look oh it looks so good and it actually looks cool taller like that it's currently tied up in the middle See, there's a string there. They'll undo that, but wow. Beautiful. That looks awesome. Yay, palm trees. And they also create these beautiful red palm fruit, which is very healthy for birds if they eat them and all our other animals. And the palm nuts, parrots love. Oh, I love these trees. Oh, it just looks so good paired with the pool. Hard to explain. Love palm trees. Guys, heading over to the farm lot. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Our garden. Oh, wow, I see it. Ate June gave us that new tree way there. Wow, beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous flowers. Holy, this is the tree that... You brought from Singapore? No, oh, from Singapore, and it's grown so big. Wow, what is it? It has tangerine flowers. Oh, wow. It's huge. I can't believe it's just growing from this little ball of like soil. I love that we'll be planting this tree somewhere. We're foresting. This whole front area has gotten really lush over, you know, the course of rainy season. Oh, these are also palm trees. Wow, they're so big now. And I, we grew them from palm nuts that I took from when we were renting a home uh, in Tagaytay. Do you guys remember that during pandemic where we were living? I Before we leaving, I took like a whole bunch of palm fruit and we've planted them. And look, this is what they look like when they're starting so cool of course this here is a massive termite mound lots of termites live here and created all of this wow guys look at our red golden pheasant oh, 
His adult colors are finally starting to show. Awesome. He's so beautiful. <gasps> Gorgeous. Look at him fluffing his feathers. Beautiful. Red golden pheasant. Sweet. And guys, like, the, hi, the crimson belly conures have come to say hello. Hi there. <laughs> I miss you. Yeah. Mm hmm. Which one is Ruby? See, I can never tell now. Which one? Which one is Ruby? Oh, they're feeding each other. It's uh, a sign of endearment and affection in the parrot world. Oh, water's dripping from the roof. Oh, hi there. This is definitely Gabriella. Hi, Gabs. Gosh, I can't get over how handsome he is. Ah, so good. Love coming out here. But it's back to work for me. OMG, my Buhai squad. I'm done. And great news, it's gonna go up on time. Yay! Holy! I feel like I just finished like a 48 hour flight. Seriously. So that's rendering now, like the whole video now. And we'll be uploading it and it'll go live to the world at 8 p.m. Crazy. Um, and I, I'm a day late, but I did make an announcement on my community tab that it'll be late. But, you know, it's as hard as it is to do the Ants Canada videos. I'm still deep inside very grateful that I have the privilege of having an audience that is super enthusiastic. Hundreds of thousands of people waiting for this one video every weekend. That's the YouTuber dream, guys. I'm living the YouTuber dream. That is such an honor and a huge privilege. So I don't take it for granted and I do work hard every week to deliver. Yes, why? Because that's my purpose in the world right now, um, among other things. Uh, but I didn't forget you. This, is, this vlog will be going up tomorrow. I'll be able to relax. It's my rest day and hang out, <laughs> rest, even though I'll be working still. Guys, look, it's raining so much. See, they've been working in the garden, so I'm happy it's raining. Like our new palm tree, welcome home palm tree. It's getting some rain. The birds in the aviary are getting rain. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, Mabuai squad, we're free. Videos uploaded, it'll go up at eight. It's pool time! Woo! Oh my gosh, it's cool! Yeah! <laughs> Good morning, Mabuhai squad. It's a brand new day. And guys, so much action and work is happening here in the yard. We're doing uh, one of these, I guess, like bi yearly garden makeovers. See? Soil, new grass, which is being planted. Um, because we have visitors coming. <gasps> it's a pretty big deal too. OMG! Ate June is here. Hi! And Nat. <laughs> Guys, look. Look at all the plants, flowers and stuff that's going into our yard. Serious renovations. I'm about to head over to the gym. But, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. Because when our visitors come, I want it to be like their its own vlog. Because it's pretty awesome you guys won't believe who's coming um, and I'm really excited RJ's been preparing for it and I think you guys will really enjoy it too so Mabu High Squad if you enjoyed today's vlog be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot it lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences and if you haven't yet be sure to hit that subscribe button come join our Mabu High Squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. That's right. Thank you guys for being part of this entire journey of life with us. I will see you in the next vlog when we welcome our new guests. Bye. Mm -hmm.